Hello everybody, this is David Doge Studios, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a very simple piston door in your own Minecraft world. Now this piston door is for beginners, and you don't need any pro skills to be making this because it's very, very simple. It will make your house look much nicer and less like a noob and more like a pro. So, let's get started. So, here's one of my models. Well, it's not one of my models, but of course it's a model right over here. It works perfectly, and it's very easy. And I have another model right over here that looks even nicer when decorated. So here we go. So in order to build this thing, you're going to want to have everything that I have in my inventory. Block of quartz, or any type of block you want for the door. Pressure plate, so you can step on and get inside. Redstone torch, to activate it. Sticky piston, of course, for the piston door. Redstone, of course, and smooth sandstone or whatever you're building it on because you're going to be making a, d a deep hole and you're going to want to replace it of course when you're finished with everything okay let's get started first grab your sticky piston then bring it on the side right over here and bring it two up just like that okay take your sticky piston place it down and make it on sideways okay after that you're going to want to take your block of quartz and place it right in front of the sticky piston now this is important you're gonna want you're gonna want to put two spaces one two, a block of quartz, and then of course your sticky piston. Once you have that, you're done with the outline. Then once you're finished with that, you're gonna want to put your block of quartz right behind the first sticky piston on the ground, and another one too. Take your piece of redstone and put right on the block of quartz. This will help it activate the top piston. Once you're done with that, you're going to want to make a little bit deep hole. Not really, just maybe two blocks deep. Ooh, let me just replace that for a moment, okay? So you're going to make a two blocks deep hole. And you're going to want to make it quite big, actually. I'll show you in a moment once I'm finished. There we go. So this hole should be it. It should be like right in front of every your piston contraption right over here. Then once you're finished with that hole, you're gonna want to dig this hole right. You're gonna want to dig a hole right under the block of quartz where the redstone is. And this is important. You're gonna want to put a redstone torch right there. This will activate the piston, and you want to do it the same on the other side. Then once those two is activated, you want to take your piece of redstone and then bring it just like this because. If you want it just like across, it will not activate the redstone torch. And why is it on a block right over here? Well, if you put a redstone torch right next to a piece of redstone, it will activate it. And we don't want that happening. We want this, this piece of redstone to turn it off once we step on the pressure plate. So you want to take this piece of redstone and make sure it's heading into the block just like it is right now. And then bring it across right over here to the other side. Once you're finished with that, you're also you're gonna want to connect it to your stone pressure plate. So you're gonna place place a piece of redstone right over here. If you wanna come back out and do it on the same on the other side, you wanna go over here and then dig two blocks just deep a little bit like that. Okay? You wanna connect your redstone just like that, and you're done. That's it. So once you're finished, you wanna wanna cover it up, of course. Real quick, let me just do it real quick, though. And once you're covered it up, you take your pressure plate, place it right in front of the door, and then boom, it opens. You're also going to do that on the same other side, just in case if you want to get back out again, of course. There it is! That's my piston door. It was really fun making it with you guys, and I hope I hope you were able to make it. Um... So if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like and subscribe button. And don't really comment down below. So, see you guys later. And goodbye.